most of them have completed their work. So uh, see here, this is the edge. Okay, I have applied the glue, align the frame properly, edge to edge, and then just stick it over there and hold it. Okay, so the initial frame we will have to hold. And wait for it to stick. Okay, now can you see this? This edge has to be aligned properly. And after you have stuck all the frames, you just apply another coat of whichever color you have used for your frame, black or white, and then this line will also disappear, okay? This line, otherwise it will make it look a little untidy. So this is slightly tricky, so you have to be slow and steady with this. Take your time and hold on for two minutes till it uh, sticks properly and then you can go ahead. Ma'am, is it necessary, uh, necessary for it to use cardboard or you can use any other thing to hold it? What other thing? What other thing can you suggest? Uh, one second, I'll show you. Uh, Shumela, uh, other than OHP sheet, what you can do is uh, see in your house is you know you sometimes you get these uh, uh, packets transparent this, plastic. What is this exactly? Yes, ma'am. I don't actually know. Uh, look, ma'am. Like this. Is it? Oh, this is very thick. You won't be able to cut it. You can't cut this. It's okay. I have cardboard, ma'am. I mean, uh, sorry, I have that cutter, ma'am. Okay, try. See, what I have used is the back portion of the, uh, the drawing book itself. You know, it's really hard. It's, or you can buy a cardboard from the market also. Okay, that is also possible. Now, this is really hard. If you see, you cannot even bend it. Okay. So, this is something which is very convenient to use. And the thing that you are using, see if you can cut with the cutter, then nothing like it. Because this itself is not easy to cut. Okay, you have to use the cutter two, three times on the same uh, line to cut it. Okay, and don't use anything softer material than this because it will not work. It will not stand. It won't be able to take the weight of the OHP sheet and the tea light. Okay, so it will completely bend and spoil your work and your energy and whatever efforts you have put in. So don't bother. You only the so hard part do Yes, use it. If you can cut it, please go ahead and use it. Or you can okay, even okay. use these cartons which uh, you get your stuff. So you only need to see that it has to be a straight board, okay? No bends in between. So I think... I think I have no bends, ma'am. I'll cut it. I'll see. I'll cut it. Okay. I'll cut it and show you. 
Okay, my mind waiting to see your work. Okay, now Kabish, were you able to stick that? Ma'am, I'm sticking. Uh, okay. So same way, all the sides we'll have to stick. And the first two sides is going to be a little tough because you'll have to hold it. Then it's easy. And the fourth side easily, you can just place it and stick. So once it is ready, then we'll do the top portion. Ma'am, is this big enough to like... Uh... Yes, if it is A4 size, you can fit two frames in it. It's big enough, I think. Okay? Two frames? Yes, two frames. Now, you'll have to check the video to uh, make I those frames. I can't find it. I can't find it. Yeah. It's showing a uh, Tagore or um, uh, what is it, Tesla? No, no, yours is also there. Mandela is also there. Okay, what I'll do is I will share it on uh, Google Classroom. Quickly, I'll share it. Mm -hmm. Then you can check there. And it's there. So just try to find again because it's impossible that it would. By the end of the week, at least I put in all the videos. I'm trying to find. Ma'am, Mandela 16 to 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 seconds. It's called Lamshade. Yes. Lamshade. yes. That one. So okay. please see that. I think there will be two videos will be there. Okay. Yes. So one is where you are making the frame, how you go about making the frame. And the second one is uh, the painting on the OHP sheet. And this will be the third video. Okay. Okay, Tabish. Maybe yes. you won't be able to stick all of them in this class itself. Take your time, okay? Don't hurry up because I'm doing it. I will just continue with the rest of it so that you can have a look at the video and then complete your work. Okay? So now here I haven't stuck the OHP sheets on all the frames, okay? Because I wasn't able to complete my work. My two of my OHP sheets got spoiled and I couldn't uh, bring another to complete it. So I'm just going to show you the framework, okay? What you have done, you have completed it, so great. So I'll just show now what to do with the rest of it. Now? Ma'am, I've sticked it. Great. Great. So go ahead with the next one, but just take your time, don't hurry up. Because I don't want you to spoil your work in that hurry, okay? So now my entire frame is ready. Now this is the extra portion of the cardboard that we had. I asked you all to just keep it with you so that you can use it for other work. Okay. So take that, this extra portion that we removed. Turn the lampshade around. And now you just mark the square. Because there we are going to we are going to place it on top and fix the tea light or uh, fairy light, not the tea light, the fairy light. Okay, so just mark it. Now, how many pieces do we have to make? Four or two? Four pieces. Okay. Ma'am, will I be able to make it in these, this one? No, not all of them will not fit on that moment. You will need two I of need the one. same. So one more, one more A4 size you will need. So you can fit two on one A4 size. Okay? okay. So you have to place it one straight and the other one. I'll show you. Just give me a minute. I'll show you. You check the video, you will know. I'm doing that only. Okay, so once the square is marked, okay, now we have this fairy light with us. Now you can fix this. And if you don't want to fix this, you can even place a tea light in the middle over here. Okay. But I'm going to show you with this one. 
Now you place it in the center and just mark the circle. Okay. Now this is the circle. Inside this, mark a smaller circle where you're going to fix it. Okay, it has to be smaller so that it gets fitted properly. And this is the circle that you have to cut. Now, again, when you're using your pen knife or any kind of blade, be very careful and keep something like a cardboard or something below the table or wherever you're using uh, so that you don't spoil your surface wherever you're going to cut. So that's all precautions you will have to take. Otherwise, I think your mothers will get angry and they will say that we don't want to continue with the art class. As it is, you're a lady. So I'm going to cut this square that I have mentioned. Yes, Muhammad. Are you able to cut it? Yes, I'm able to cut it. And ma'am, is this enough? Yes. This much? Yeah, it will be enough. So now what you'll do is, see, just let me show you once more, okay? Uh, if this is your okay. sheet, okay, if you have this sheet and you're making the frame, so one, Measurement you have to take like this, okay? See to it that you take okay. the corner, okay? Not exactly the corner, but little bit away, slightly away from the corner. And this is your first frame. And the second frame, second frame, it will be here on the other side. So you just okay. turn it around. And so you can fit two frames in one A4 size sheet, okay? You will not waste paper. So that way you will not waste your cardboard. Always keep a cardboard or some wood, something waste below so that you can cut without spoiling the surface. This is how you will cut your square. And now cutting the circle is again going to be a little tricky. So be careful with that, okay? Don't, please don't cut your finger or anything. Be very careful, go slowly. There's no hurry. By next week, you can complete your work. You can see all the three videos and complete your work. Now it's not going to look uh, very tidy this work because you know cutting this is a problem. So another thing that we will have to make on this is a cover. So just cover that area.
Okay, see, it's not very tidy. You can't help it. So the original uh, work was done on a foam board. But foam board, uh, I don't know how far it will be available. And secondly, it is expensive also. So that is why I avoided using it. And instead of that, I'm using this cardboard. Okay, now this, you can just push it down and fix it, okay? So here it got fixed. Okay, then you can open this and see the length how much ever you want. This is how you're going to fix your tea light. Now, before fixing your tea light, what you will do is you will paint this again, paint it in the color of uh, whatever lampshade color you have used. And then you're going to stick it on top here. Okay, again, all the edges, just apply the glue. Now sticking this is very easy. You just have to apply glue and place it. Remember to paint it first and then stick it. Don't stick the soap. And again, I'm reminding you that this edge, which is visible here, apply a thick layer of paint. In fact, overall, without touching the OHP sheet, try to apply a thick layer of paint once again to cover up if there is any either stains or if it is looking untidy or the line is visible. Okay, so here it is. If you can see this, this is how you will place it on top. Okay, now after this, now just observe. Don't do it as of now. We'll do it later. Okay, Tabish, you can just do it later. So I'm just showing you. Now we are going to fix this light over here. Now after this, we need to cover this area. Like this area, we will cover it so that the tea light is not visible. Now for that, what we will need. Here you can use a softer cardboard. Okay, so the first cover of your drawing book you can use. This is a softer cardboard. You can just cut a rectangle. After cutting this rectangle, just measure it. It should be of the measure of this circle, okay? One second. Um, just a minute, Tabish. I'm just adjusting my camera. Yeah, you were telling me something. Okay. I flipped all the dodge thing. Sorry, I didn't get you. Oh, great. Very nice. 
Okay, just one minute. Let me replace your pin. Let me see it. Wow. Looking good. Very nice. Now I put the torch also. Okay, can you switch it on for us? Oh, okay. Great. Nice. So when it is dark, you will see the effect better. Okay. Uh, Shumela, the work is, uh, see, the video is always there on YouTube. And uh, yes, once the entire artwork is over, I do post the work on Google Class. But that is in the end. So if you want to complete your work before that, please check the uh, YouTube. Okay. Now, if you see here, this area, we need to cover it with this. Okay, so you need to make a circle with this soft cardboard. Use a soft cardboard. Don't use a thin paper because on top of that, we have to again stick something which we can then use it as a lantern as well. Either you can put it on the side table or use it as a lantern. Okay. You just need to stick this. You can even staple it if you want to, because it's not going to be visible. So along with glue, just staple it. I don't have a stapler here. In a minute, I'll get a stapler and go ahead with this. I just staple these two sides like this, okay? And this is ready. You just fold it to get a round. Try to get as perfect a round as possible. This is cardboard again, so there are chances that it will bend in some place. Okay? Now this you have to stick on top of this. Okay, it can be a little smaller than this. So this is how you're going to stick it. And then on top of this, we will have another thing that is again made of cardboard. Let me stick this. Okay. 
So now I'm going to use this cardboard again, the remaining pieces, and cut a triangle. Now all the triangle have to be, all the four triangles will have to be of the same size. around one inch. A little more than that. Okay, so I'm just taking, let me take one and a half inch. Mark a center okay, and draw a parallel perpendicular line. Okay, and then again measure one and a half inch. And you will get your triangle. Okay, now all four triangles should be of the same size. So you can just go ahead and cut the first one. Mohammed, are you able to do it? So four triangles of same size. I'll just quickly do it on the soft sheet so that you understand and then you can do it with the cardboard, okay? Do it with the cardboard because uh, that will take the weight of the lantern. Okay, the soft board will not take the weight.
Okay, now this four pieces again you have to stick it in the same way, like we cut the frame. So just stick the sides. Okay, so all the four sides you have to stick. Now before sticking the sides, what you have to do is two of the cardboards either with the punching uh, machine. If you have a punch machine, you can punch it and make a or with a needle or anything. Just make holes on two triangles. Okay, and see to it that they are placed on the opposite side. Now this is where you're going to put your string to hang it like a lantern. Okay, and if you don't want to hang it, it's okay. You can just keep it on the table top. Okay, so just I'm just making roughly I'm making a hole here. So you can use a punching machine or use a, a needle or something where you can just make these two holes. And these two are going to be in the opposite side. So you will be sticking all the four sides. Okay, and once you stick, you have to place it on top of this. Okay. So here you're going to just stick it on top of this. Okay, so apply glue and it will be stuck here. So this area will look neat. Okay, now I'm going to do this after the session. Okay, and I will post the pictures. Okay, so um, I'll post the pictures on Google Classroom by hopefully by today evening. And you can complete your work by the weekend. Okay. So rest of you, whoever has not done it, please do it next week. Uh, otherwise, I think I'll just, uh, I want I want all your work. That's, now it's final from my side. I want each and every one of you to show me this lampshade. Okay. So I'll see you in the next class. I'll end the session here. Any doubts, Tabish, you have? Yes, perfect. I so, made the triangle. Yes, Tabish? Yeah. I made the triangle. Yeah, perfect. So now you just have to stick it the same way, okay? So apply glue on the side. On this side, stick one triangle, then the other side. And that way, all the four triangles you have to stick together. Okay? So you will make a prism. Actually, you're going to make a prism like this with one side open. Now that side which is open, apply glue on this circle here, okay, on the outside of the circle, you can apply glue and then place the prism on top of this and leave it to dry. Now, before you stick the triangle, make holes uh, with the punching, I think it's going to be very difficult with a punching machine, try using a needle or some sharp object which can enter this, but be careful, okay and try to make a hole in this. In the opposite triangles, the hole should be there. So you can put a string. And if you don't want this, you don't want the string, you can just leave it as it is, and you can use it as a side table lampshade. So this is something which you can hang on the window. It will really look nice with the sunlight falling on it in the daytime, because you have used glass panes, it will really look beautiful. And in the evening, you can just switch on the tea light so if this is what you're using, you can easily hang it. Okay, but if you're using that small tea light, then you will have to keep it on a table. Okay, clear? Yes. Yes, and post yes. your pictures on Google Classroom. You can even post it to me personally. Okay, I would, I would love to share your pictures. Sabish, it's an excellent job that you've done. Okay, so I'll end the session now. I'll see you all next week. Bye.